Hi Aries, welcome back again to the channel. Welcome back to the channel, honey. It's always a blessing to have you guys here. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning back to the channel, welcome back. You know you're a diamond. Please continue to shine bright and beautiful like a diamond. All right, you guys. So we're going to get into this read here. Oh, uh, Let's do a no contact tonight, okay? All right, so we're going to get into a pray. Aries, because a prayer is always a must. Um, this is going to be a mega one also. All right, let's pray. Everything, Father, as I come before you, ask for your blessings for myself and for my secrets. Heavenly Father, please send the most powerful angels to take charge over this reading, using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words, and also giving me the right messages that you want me to share, the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praises. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, so you guys, um, just know that this reading is a general reading and not a personal one, okay? So, with that being said, it may resonate with you, and then again, it may not. Please take what does resonate with you and leave the rest. Cross watchers, same applies. Do not force the reads because it's not meant to be forced. You could always come back another day, you guys, because I do upload very often here. Um, just in case you guys want to know, I'm using extra virgin olive oil to cleanse my hands. All right. But just be sure that if you're going to be using extra virgin olive oil, you want to be sure that you pray over your oil before you actually use it. So that way it becomes consecrated oil, okay? All right, let me go ahead and bless my space a little bit. First, first and foremost, I hope you guys are having a blessed morning, evening, noon, or night. Hey, just Holy Spirit, please protect me from anything that may come through this read to harm myself. Or for those who are watching, send any bad intentions back to sender. Any bad mind, any bad doings, any bad evil spirits, anything that may obstruct the comment section, we send that back to sender. Let nothing harm or distract me. Let nothing come through to take away the messages here or try to tie my tongue so that the messages don't come through. Send it back to sender in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit. So it is, so it is, so it's done. Amen. Okay. All right, you guys, let's get to it. And again, Aries, we are doing, we are doing your no contact, okay? All right, angels, let's get to it. All right, what is the angel here that is here to assist me with this reading for Aries, please? Please go ahead and hit the thumbs up on your reads, you guys, because it does help the channel to grow. This is how you support me, and this is how you support your channel, okay? When YouTube see that you like the reading, they will push the readings out into a wider audience. The channel will grow, and the video will grow. All right, what is the angel here that is here to assist me? All right, so we have the angel of encouragement somebody needs to be encouraged here somebody needs to know that they are in fact a winner we have the angel number 11 here okay um just be encouraged you guys you can do it you know you can do anything you want to do it is god who strengthens you there's nothing there's absolutely nothing that you cannot manifest absolutely nothing Feel like somebody's either trying to break your spirit or somebody's either trying to tell you what to do you know we buying it we're going to bind it i'm just been kind of called to hold on you guys i've just been called to pull a specific hold on hold on a minute you guys because I really feel like I need to pull a message out of this deck that I've been called to use. All of a sudden, it just came to me.
hopefully I'm able to find it because Okay, I found it. So we're going to pull some messages from here because I've been called by my ancestors to pull from this deck as well. So I'll do that. All right, let's get you an angel message here. Well, what is the message from the angels, please, for Aries? This is your no contact. What does Aries need to know right now? What is it that Aries need to know right now? Thank you. All right, so we have the angel number 27 here, okay? The angel number 27 is I am ex I am expressive. Okay, so you may want to say this three times. I am expressive, I am expressive, I am expressive. Um, angels are saying that your mind is wide open and you are tolerant and compassionate towards all ways of life. You value freedom of expression and want to improve the conditions of people. And you're just saying that whether in your community or it could be a country or the world at large. The angel number 27. Alrighty, my darlings. All right, my darlings. Let's get you an affirmation here. Back on here. Okay, let's get you an affirmation. All right, angels, answers to spirit guys. You get you an affirmation here. What is the affirmation here? For Aries and the no contact energy at this present moment. Affirmation, please. the affirmation for Aries at this time. Okay. All right, so your affirmation for your net for your no contact is collaborative. Okay. Now, angels are saying, um, working with someone who has the same goals as you will increase your power and reach. Someone wants to do business with you. Someone wants to do business with you. Okay. Someone, someone maybe sees your work, sees what you bring to a situation, and this person really wants to kind of help to guide you. Maybe this could be a person that has been doing a specific thing for some time. So they kind of have like guided experience already. Um, for some of you just trying to figure a way how to connect with maybe the right people. Maybe you're thinking about doing business or going into something for yourself, but you're not really sure where to turn to get the proper tools that you need to manifest what you've been dreaming of for so long. But Someone is coming in to help you because this person sees your goal. This person sees that you're driven. This see, person sees your power. And this person is ready and want and want and needing to do business with you. To share the experience. All right. What's the message in love, please? I'm using my deck to pull this energy. It's called the Awakening 1111. If you guys are interested in purchasing this deck, um, it is up. I still have a couple remaining just a few not a lot um you could go ahead and check in the description of the video and you'll see how to receive your deck okay all right so we have spiritual awakening here spiritual awakening that's what's coming towards you in love spiritual awakening so i'm feeling like there's something here aries where you know somebody just needed the boom shaka laka laka here <laughs> Meaning someone is really needed to wake up and smell the coffee here. Maybe some of you guys is, you know, you're dealing with a situation where you're getting a lot of clarity. The clarity that you're getting is situations that you may not feel entwined with, but it's happening. And for some of you just kind of not wanting to gravitate to the truth 
or to like see these red flags. I'm hearing red flags, you guys. Okay, this is what I'm hearing. I'm picking up red damn flags here. Um, there's no more time to rest, okay? There's no more time to take natural breaks here. It's time for movement. It's, 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 it's called spiritual movement here. This is what I'm seeing, spiritual awakening. So whatever this is, okay, um, somebody needs to realize their worth. Somebody needs to realize their goal. Someone needs to realize that you can manifest anything that you want to manifest. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, you know, whether it's love or, or whether it's family situations you're going through at present, you know, or whether you're just going through something with your person, a past one, a present one, or you're worrying about one that's coming or whatever the hell's going on. But you, um, just need to kind of sh shake your journey up a little bit and start manifesting your life in power here. Um, this is a very powerful card, spiritual awakening. You know what I mean? Spiritual awakening is one of the most powerful cards you could ever come across. Spiritual awakening. It's not just an awakening. It's spiritual awakening, okay, is what I'm hearing. All right, let's be careful what I'm seeing here. And then I'm going to go ahead and start pulling from that deck because I've been called to do that. All right, let's see. I don't know. And these cards are flying out. So you know what? Let me go ahead and pull them through. Now, this deck that I'm using, this is called the Divine. Okay? This deck is my daughter's deck. Um, this is a new release. If you are interested in purchasing this deck, um, just go ahead and either email me or get in contact with her, the Scene Tarot, and just let her know that, you know, you saw me using her deck on my channel and you are interested. And you will get your deck. Okay. All right. So these cards came through. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull them through as they came in. Um, I'm hearing, uh, remember that. I'm hearing good karma um, shall follow you always and forever. So for some of you guys, all right. So you have just been investing so much time and so much energy in others. Because Aries, this is the type of person that you are. You are very helpful, you know, you know, you're very kind spirited. You're not to be played with or toy, but because when you had enough, you just simply had enough. But I feel like, you know, at this time, whatever you might have invested in a situation, even though the situation might not have invested back into you, so you would have wanted. But I really feel like you're going to get amazing good karma here. I'm feeling like your reward is coming this is victory, and I'm not surprised that this card came through to validate what I was thinking, because if you guys remember your affirmation, your affirmation strictly stated, okay, that you were in collaboration towards someone that knows a journey or something that you want to do, you're going to come across someone that's willing to help you and to guide you into really manifesting whatever it is that your heart is desiring right now. And I feel like it is happening for you. Remember that good karma shall follow you. We'll just keep that in mind. For some of you, you know, you may be very attached to someone who just keeps knocking you down and just having you feel like you're falling, like you can't get up. Even if you fall, so what? I have fallen so many times, honey, so many bruises, and I just try to get up each and every single time and keep it pushing. I don't care what nobody say. I don't care what nobody thinks because they're irrelevant at this point, okay? They're just straight up irrelevant. I don't give a shit. Nobody. I don't care. I don't do what I need. What my spiritual guides tell me to do, that's what I do. I'm humble and I listen to my guides and whatever they say to do, I do. And that's just on period. Angel is saying you should know this though, that your divine does hear you, okay? Your divine does hear your manifestation, um, prayers, um your hope, your wishes, and you're not alone in your situation. You are not alone. Your divine does hear every single thing that you have been crying for, that you've been yearning for. Even for some of you, for some of you, maybe a silent prayer. Listen, the divine is still hearing you. It doesn't matter if you're a silent prayer or not. Or not. Um, you know, your divine is answering your Beckham call here. Um, I see you walking on some kind of a new chapter, some kind of a new journey here. For some of you, you may feel like, you know, a little bit scared or a little fearful of where this journey may take you. But 
Listen, I'm seeing a light at the end of the tunnel, okay? So I feel like you should continue to push. You should not give up. Just keep on moving on. Your life is filled with nothing but manifestation here. Your life is filled with nothing but joy and peace. Um, and just saying that you should always remember to love, okay? Teach me something new. The number five, you guys, okay? Something new. Because, see, you have been really been dealing with a lot of fives here. You've had your fair share of heartbreak. You've had your fair share of setbacks. You've had your fair share of investing and feeling like, okay, I've invested into this. The five of pentacles didn't come back towards me. Someone might have left you or taken something away from you. It could be financial loss, you guys. Um, you know, feeling of feeling very ashamed. You might have felt like you've been dealing with a lot of conflicts of five of wands. Um, you know, and just dealing with, um, betrayal and loss with the five of swords. Um, I, I mean, a lot of loss is what I'm hearing, but you're getting through this. I'm hearing past life contracts. Okay. This is why I know for sure that you're definitely going through this, but you have to remember love. And I don't know why I feel the need to say that, um, just know that everyone is not the same, okay? Everyone is not the same. I, I don't know. That that needed to come through. Um, but I'm also hearing past life contracts. So you may have been dealing with a situation from your past, okay? Your past is trying to come through this read. If you are not with this person, you might know this person for some time, but I'm hearing past life contracts. So maybe you still find the need to or have a need to be in contact with this person, even if you guys are not sleeping together, you guys are still kind of binded. Maybe you have children for this person. Maybe you had things tied up with this person. Um, financial situation, home, cars, bank accounts, whatever you have. Maybe you're going through some kind of a separation or divorce for some of you where you're not able to deal with these contracts. And then justice is just going to have to come through and rectify situations. Karmic corrections, karmic partnership, and unbalanced energy. There you go. That's confirmation right there. That's, that's just, um, you know, that is straight confirmation right there. Like, to the core. To the core. Straight confirmation. That's what that is. All right, let's go ahead and tap into this here. All right, let's clear the energy out on this. All right, thank you, Spirit Guides, for this message. Appreciate you. All right, let's tap into this deck. I have no idea why the angels wants me to pull this deck. I haven't used it in forever. But let's see why I'm being called for this. Just know that anything could come through here, you guys. It could be past situations. It could be people from the other side that wants to connect with you. It could be whatever, okay? It could be opportunity. It could be gold. It could be lessons. It could be whatever. Just take a resonance with you. Do not force, okay? Whatever comes through, do not force. Again, it's not meant to be forced. Very intense deck, this one. Very intense, Okay. All right, angels, ancestors here. Tap into this energy, please. Angels of above and spirit guides here. What is it that you need to share at this moment? All right, so angels are saying that you need to know this. Aries, that it's over. It's over. They need you to know that there's no more hurt. There's no more hurt and pain here. Whatever you're feeling is definitely over. No more hurt and pain, okay? Now, what I am also seeing here, um, someone should not come running back, okay? There, you definitely connected to someone that you may already be in separation with. This person may be coming back, but there's definitely blockages here. Um... This is what I'm seeing for some of you guys. Someone should not be coming, come running back here, okay? Um, major arcana setbacks. It's hard to admit it, but I really do think I'm in this relationship for love, all right? So you're definitely in this relationship for love. Um, and hmm, 
And it just did remind you about love. And I did tell you guys earlier, and I felt like, I didn't know how to know where I, this came from out of nowhere. Where I felt like I needed to say not everyone was the same. Okay. Um, and here it goes. Confirmation. Okay. It's hard to admit it, but I really do think I'm in this relationship for love. So that's what your intentions were for love. Um, you know, to be with this person. To love this person. Uh, maybe forever. True intentions. Um, maybe at this point you're feeling like that situation was not being given back to the, to you the way that you might have given it. Hold on, you guys. Let me push my door up a little bit, okay? Because um, my door is open. Hold on. I just need. I just need a little bit of um. I need a little bit of privacy up in my office, okay? My, uh, my door was open by my fur baby. So, I had to push it up a little bit so that way I could get some privacy. Alright, so let's see. Alright. Let's see what's coming through here. Your twin flame awaits you. Your twin flame awaits you. I feel like for some of you here, you definitely have been with someone who you had a solid connection with. If this is not this person who you are in separation with, then it's definitely someone else. I feel like, and you need to know this also, that a person can definitely have more than one twin flame, okay? A person can have more than one. And this is, this is how I'm feeling for some of you. And you know saying that there's a, you have a twin flame connection with someone. And this person is kind of waiting for you. Or this could be in the reverse. However it goes. Spiritual awakening. Who knows? Hmm. Tell me more. I'm worried that you did the juju on us. God takes great care of me. So for some of you guys, you, you're feeling like someone might have done some kind of a spell work on you. Someone might have done some kind of juju or something. But I feel like you're heavily guided here. You're guarded. You're guided. Spirit guides here. I'm hearing spirit guides. Somebody here has a very strong connection to their spirit guide here. And this person is really taking great, excellent care of you. This is what I'm seeing. Tell me more. It's time to decide if this is where you need to be. And just saying it's time for you to decide if this is where you need to be. Um, for some of you, your life is really calling for evaluation. Um, your life is really calling for decisions. Your life is really calling for choices. Your life is really calling for you to have something set in stone here. I really feel like at this point, Aries, um, for your no contact situation, something feels very kind of divided. I wouldn't even say separated. It feels very divided. Um, I do feel like for some of you, you might have felt this division way before you even was entered into a no contact zone with your person. I feel like you would really gotten to a point in your life where you was just left in the cold, out in the cold. I feel like for some of you, you just felt like you was just riding a wave by yourself. Even if you were still with this person, you still felt like you was riding a wave alone here. Very broken. It's time to decide if this is where you really need to be. For some of you guys, it's time that you cut cords. Whatever this is, spiritual awakening has really stepped on in. Now, angels are also saying here, 
that someone from the other side said, okay? And whenever this comes, when anytime anyone from the other side is trying to come through your read, I always say this, you guys. Do not force it. Just let it flow naturally because it's meant for someone, okay? Someone on the other side wants to come through tonight. And this person is saying that um, that they miss your talks. They miss the talks that you guys used to have. Um, they also miss your kindness. So you was very kind to this person while they were still here. Um, and this person is saying that they will never forget the kindness that you showed, the talks that, that you guys have had. They will never forget this, okay? They miss those talks um, a lot. And again, take that how it resonates with you, okay? Tell me more. Okay. So there's another message that is coming in from the other side, okay? This person is saying, don't let pride get in your way the way that they did, okay? Now, for me, this feels more motherly. Um, this feels like a person that you might have respected while they were here. This person feels like a person that would give great advice while they were here. This person had been through a lot in their own personal life. And I feel like this person don't want you to go down maybe the same lane or the same street that they might have went down on. Um, I feel like this person was, was someone who had a lot of pride. Um, even if they were going through a lot, they wouldn't say much. They would have kind of hold or held back a lot inside. They're saying that don't let pride get in the way of your life here. It doesn't matter if it's in love or whatever. Try not to go down the same path that they did because it didn't work. And they want you to know that they love you. Okay. And again, this person feels more like a, a, maybe a parent or feels like a person, even if it was a sibling, it feels more like a person who um, you would go to whenever you had a problem, okay? All right, let's see. And again, take this out. Resonates with you. Let me put this over here. Okay. You are safe and divinely guided by an angel. See what I'm saying? <laughs> this is your confirmation. You are safe. You are safe, Aries. You are safe. Okay? Um, for some of you, you haven't felt safe for so long. Angels are saying that you need to know this. That you are safe. You are safe and divinely guided by an angel. Now, a specific angel, okay? Um, this is your spirit guide. Um, this is this is someone that you were very close to, extremely close to. Um Mm. I feel like for some of you, you have a lot of regret with this person. There's a lot of regrets. Um, things that you might have wanted to say or to talk to be done. Or I don't know why I felt like someone here wasn't really getting along with this person or something. There was like a lot of bumping heads here, and someone might have didn't really get a chance to really say how they really truly felt. I really didn't get to express their really true love for this person. But this person is saying that you're okay. It's okay. This is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing it's okay. It's okay. I love you. I love you. You need to know that I love you. All right. Let's see. Twin flame energy is coming in. This person is your mirror soul and sacred counterpart. So for some of you, you're definitely connected to a twin flame counterpart here. Okay. Um... This could be someone that you're about to meet, someone new. Twin flame. This person is your mirror soul, sacred counterpart. So for some of you, you just need to know that love is coming in. True love. I know I made a mistake. All right, so it could be this twin flame. You might have met this person. All right, so this person is saying that, you know, they might have made a mistake with you. And not only that, they might have made a mistake with you. They know that. They did make a solemn mistake. 
the way that they they loved you, the way that you should have been appreciated here. Um, this person now is maybe kind of wondering if it's kind of too late. Is it too late to try again? Is it too late to even give you an apology? Is it too late to reconciliate something here? There's a lot of damages, a lot of hurt. Okay, something might have been falling apart here. They're not everything you want them to be. So Angel is saying that this twin flame person is definitely not everything, um, you know, that you would want them to be. This person is not everything. It's like you want this person to do this and to be that and do that and to be this. But this person is definitely not everything that you want them to be. Um, it is just not, it's not. I don't feel like this is going to happen as far as what you are really needing over what you're really wanting with this person, okay? I'm also hearing, if I could take it all back, I really regret lying to you over and over again. And it's my fault. So, um, someone is saying here that they did um, lie to you. There was a lot, a lot of lies that was told here. Um, there's a lot of regrets that's coming through with these lies. Um, I do feel like someone wished that they could start over here um and they know that they did lie to you not just one time but over and over and over and over again constantly i feel like his lies was just back to back it's like i feel like you didn't even get a break you couldn't even catch your breath um this person knows that whatever they whatever or however you might have felt with these lies and betrayal they know that it was definitely their fault they know that they did instigate this. They know that you did not deserve to be treated this way. And it did it was it happened anyway. Okay. It happened anyway. And for that, they're truly sorry. Angel just saying that as far as you're concerned, you should do what really truly makes you happy. Okay. Um, it is not about what others want at this point particular moment is about what you want in your life. It's about the chapters, the journeys, the trouble, the trial, the tribulations. It's about whatever it is that you felt while you close your eyes at night to fall asleep. Um, just do what you know is right for you that makes you happy. Um, even though I know and I feel it within my heart that you know, you're definitely connected to a twin flame. You're definitely in separation. Um, this is what I'm hearing. However, um, I feel like there's lessons that might have been learned or needed to be learned. Um, I feel like there was huge mistakes that were made. I feel like people just was using their throat chakras for all the wrong reason. Um, I do feel like someone was not seeing things clearly, wasn't allowing the situation to evolve. Um, I do feel like, you know, decisions are made um, out of context. Um, people are going in different directions is what I'm hearing. And I feel like it just went all the way left really, really fast. Now, angels are saying this. The feeling only grew stronger and stronger each day. Okay. So even though for some of you guys, you really felt really tormented about what this person was doing. Um, even though you cried and even though you complained and whatever you were doing here, it's like nothing changed. The feeling for this person, even with the conflicts and everything that you were dealing with, it's like the love didn't go anywhere. The love just kept growing and growing and growing and growing and growing. And the more that you love this person is the more that you felt like this person was making you even hurt even more. Now, I'm here in the home, okay? So I really feel like you either share the home with this person or, you know, this person is not in the home or there's something going on in the home. For some of you, that really tells me that it's time that you cleanse your home. Um, I really feel like it really needs spiritual awakening in the home. Even if this person is not living with you, I do feel like there is something in the home that needs to be put out. 
Um, I feel like Spiritual Awakening is really trying to show you something. Something, something was triggered or triggered. And now something has to be set free. Something needs to be released here. Um, I don't know why I feel like someone did something really weird in the home. I feel like you need to throw it out. This is what I'm hearing, okay? All right, tell me more, Angel of Holy Spirit. Um, so, yeah, take a leap of faith. Now, whatever is going on in this home, whatever needs to be dismissed in the home, you're going to have to take a leap of faith. You know, for some of you, like, you know, I don't want to do this. I don't think that I, I don't think I can do it. I don't think I'm ever going to do it. Um, you know, what if, what if, Angel is saying that if you continue to be on this mindset of, I want to do this, but, or, you know, I wonder if it's going to work, uh, this and that, and the third, you're going to find yourself in the same situation, the same position that you was in the year before, this year, and the year to come. You have to take a leap of faith, okay? This is what I'm seeing for you. All right, tell me more, Holy Spirit. Um, it is safe, okay? And you're just saying that you need to know that it is safe to trust in the situation. It is safe to trust in the situation, okay? See, you take that leap of faith, you're going to have to not only trust the situation, but you're going to have to trust yourself into knowing that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. That's just one period. It's not about your mama who strengthens you. It's not about your daddy who strengthens you or your person, whether they're past, present, or future. It's about the God in you. This wants to come through really bad. Let's see. Our story will be the greatest love story ever told. You'll see. Someone, something is made in heaven. So, Regardless of you're with this person or not, regardless of what's going on with your situation or your, your connection, um, someone really feels that they have a love story with you or this is you. Maybe there's a lot of history with this person. Even though you guys are, are seems not to be on the same kind of a path here, because someone has definitely kind of lost their way off this little track. Um, someone might have gotten lost in the woods or whatever and still trying to find the, their way out of a situation. Uh, I feel like, you know, something was was meant for two, but someone kind of put an end to a dream here. Um, I feel like someone still do have high hopes that this love story will be the greatest one at the end of the day. This love story will forever be told. This love told story is one that was made in heaven on period. But again, in order for a situation to survive, Something needs to be thrown out. And I'm hearing in the from the home structure, take a leap of faith. Believe me. And you're just saying, believe me, you don't want them back right now, okay? You don't want that situation back right now at all, okay? Even though, you know, for some of you, you feel like, <coughs> you know, your story um, is one that is sent from heaven, Okay, you don't want to take that person back right now because that person had, is still dealing with a five of wands. That person is still conflicted. Oh, look at this. This is flying over the place. All right, so I'm hearing being on a light leash here. So somebody's on a light leash. Somebody's maybe out doing some things here. Um, since you guys might have been in separation, I, this is what I'm hearing, no contact. Um, someone is kind of doing whatever kind of a stuff right now, a light leash. Maybe this person is like seeing other people, kind of going on party. I'm seeing drinking happening here. I'm seeing a party life or... Someone is just doing some things that they never normally would have done. So now someone feels very free, very vocal. I feel like this person is kind of saying random things, doing random things, not thinking before they even speak. Someone is just on a light leash, okay? Tell me more. Angels, Holy Spirit. Why should I stay? Why should we stay together? So there's a lot of questions here, okay? Um... Someone is really curious here, wondering why. Is is there a reason for us to even be together at this particular moment? 
why should we even be together? Um, for some of you guys, you just, you know, you've seen so many things, so many red flags. And even though you want to be with this person, you know that maybe you shouldn't. But angels did say it's not the right time to take this person back because there are so many pieces of the puzzle that's missing at this moment, okay? Now, this is what I've also seen here. And someone from the other side wants to come through. And again, I would allow this person to come through. Um, uh, again, don't force this energy, okay? It's not meant to be forced, you guys. Let me free this person to come through. Hold on, you guys. Let me give them a free and to say what it is that they want to say and why they're here. All right, all right, Holy Spirit, ancestors, protect me from whatever may come through. Um, cut and clear, clear and cut. Okay, in the name of Jesus, God, the Holy Spirit. So it is, so it is, so it is, so it's done. Okay. All right, so someone wants to come through, and now we are, you're allowed to come through. Now this person is saying, hmm. Now someone is saying that they're with grandma here. All right, so someone is saying that I'm with grandma. So, hmm. So I'm going to say I'm with grandma. So grandma is definitely crossed over. And now someone crossed off after grandma crossed over. This person is saying that grandma came and received me when I made my transition. Now they're also telling me about a dog. Someone is saying that the dog is with them. I have the dog. So someone had, had a dog here that also crossed over. All right, so, yeah, they're telling me that you may, <laughs> it may be hard for you to believe this, but you need to believe, okay? So this person is saying that they're with grandma. I don't know why I'm picking up being sick. I feel like someone was, was very sick. Um, that's how the madam made their transition. But they're showing me themselves as being very healthy. And they're saying that they, they, they're, I'm um, with grandma and I do have the dog with me. Okay. Let's see. All right. And again, take this out residence with you guys. All right, so maybe we need to take it slow. Okay. I feel like, I don't know why, it's suddenly kind of starting to feel a little bit chilly. Um, But I'm hearing maybe we need to take it slow. That That's what's coming through for you guys. Um, You definitely connected to a situation that appears to be many things. Um, talk about confused, um, to say the least, talk about mind games, manipulation here, you know, maybe we need to take it slow. One minute, this is what I want. Next minute, let's take it nice and slow. It's like, you don't even know, um, how to place this situation in your life anymore. What is this? Everything will unfold in divide time. You see, there's a lot of things that you're going to find out here. Okay. Um, whatever it is, it something's going to be broken. Something's going to be cut, cut, cut off. Everything will unfold in divine timing. Now, listen, I already know that um, spiritual awakening is already here. When when it comes to, it comes to with a lot of different things. It comes to with spell work. It comes to with juju. It comes out with misleading people, energy, bad intentions, or whatever. Okay. Um, I feel like you're about to find out some things here. You know what? Whatever is in the light is going to come. Whatever is in the dark, it's definitely coming to the light. Your next 
move or your next chapter in life is going to bring you a lot of a lot of opportunity openings where you're going to be seeing things so much clearer than you have been seeing it, Aries. So that way you don't miss the next opportunity that is coming towards you, okay? Uh, let's see what this is. It's time that you walk away, okay? You have to walk away. Um, I'm seeing a heart that is broken. So it's telling me broken heart. You suffered a tragic broken heart. So now it's time that you list, literally walk away from whatever this is. Um, because somebody doesn't really know what they want at this point. We always make up to break up. See what I'm saying? This person saying that they all, you guys always make up to break up on and off, the on, on and off, on, off and on, or whatever. They make you take photos just to piss you off. They make you take photos with other people just to piss you off. So somebody's just being weird. Why am I feeling like, you know, somebody just trying to get under your skin? I see this person taking pictures, posting these pictures with other people. They have no relationship with these people. They have no connection, but they feel like you're watching them. So they do whatever to piss you off. It's mind game. Mind game's manipulation here. What is this? Okay, friendships. You're you're uh committed to your commitment has been tested. Just bring love into the situation. Okay, so friendships. For some of you guys, you may not have had maybe you're not in, in, in communication with your friends or a friend. Maybe something happened. Hmm. Let's put this here. Tap into that one. See what's going on with that. Okay. So mistakes was made several times with this friendship. Okay. And this place is friendship however you want to place it. But there was a lot of things that happened with this uh, friendship here. Mistakes were made several times. I am creative and open to new solutions. So someone wants to fix this friendship. Someone is willing and 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 really wanting to fix this connection once again. This relationship can stand the test of time. Okay. And you're just saying that this connection with your friend or friendships, it could stand the test of time because someone is willing to try honestly. Find time to laugh and goof off and enjoy each other. Wow. Wow, I love to see messages like this in confirmation. It really makes me smile. Okay. Now, I'm hearing your person keeps your eyes on them, the big picture, and leave the details for others. So, you got to keep an eye on, on whatever is going on. This person here, um, you know, you have to pay attention to all the details. Listen. This person is sick. It's like you're dealing with a fox, okay? Somebody needs to grow up. It's like, it's, it's starting to get tired. It's like you're like, uh-uh, I can't be bothered. You got to grow up because <laughs> love and hate, no more words unsaid. It's like a love and hate relationship at this point. Um, You know, even though you don't want to release this person, you feel like at this point you have no choice but to do that. Because you feel like this person is kind of tapping into your energy way too much. You're like, why can't I get you off my mind? What's really going on? Now, again, take this message out. It resonates with you. But I'm hearing an angel is guiding you. Okay? So you have an angel who is guiding you and assisting you towards your financial freedom. Okay? This is what I'm hearing. Okay? So you have an angel that is really there to make sure that your financial situation gets better. For some of you, you're dealing with a lot of hardship here. You're not really being able to get those bills paid on time. Um, dealing with rent issues and money just going all the way left. It's like you're working and you're not seeing the fruit of your labor. It's like the more you work, the more bills you're paying. You're not seeing eye to eye and you're falling very short. And you're just saying it's time to release 
radical acceptance and surrender that can help you let go and move on from stress okay this is what i'm seeing for some of you guys all right that's just some period thank you for the confirmation angels thank you for the confirmation if only we can start over. So some, so for some of you, it's all about starting over here. And you can. Starting over can be rough, but that's what you need right now. Just go slow. It just said you just need to go slow. A step at a time. It's going to work out for you. Just go slow. And you get to the crossroad, to the finish line. The finish line will help you to balance your life. Your life is calling for, for balance. Straight up balance here. All right, tell me more. What's the outcome of us working together? All right, so this person is saying, you know, what is the outcome? Um, what could it be at this point of the you and I kind of coming together as a team and kind of working things out? Okay, this person will either wants to work it out or they don't or this is you. Um, but for some of you, like, give me a reason to come back, to return. Give me a reason to come back to you. Um, give me a solid reason to come back. Because at this point, I really want to tell you the truth, okay? Um, for some of you, you know, you, do really, you, you have so much built up inside. But, you know, at the end of the day, you still love this person. Trust me, you do. You still love this person, so you kind of keep a lot of things to yourself and not wanting to really say because you don't want to make things any worse. You know, you're not trying to piss this person off. You're not trying to start no arguments. You're not trying to start no conflicts here. You just want to kind of just free your mind and follow the light. And this person kind of makes it very difficult for you to do that. Um, is what I'm seeing. All we did was yell at each other. So there was a lot of confusion that's coming through this connection. A lot of yelling, a lot of screaming. Angels are with you. Just know that your angels have never left your side. Now, for some of you, Aries, you really feel like you've been so alone here. I wanted to get married, but they didn't. So, you you know, wow. This is deep. What's going on here? Put your time and energy in all the things you love about yourself. This is what the angels are saying that you need to do at this point, Okay. Because there's just too many conflicts here. You're surrounded by conflicts with the situation. And again, double tapper. Put your time and energy in all the things that you loved about you. That's, that came true twice. That came true twice. Someone's ready to move on. Someone wants to move on. Yearning to move on. Wanting a first start. Um, not really sure. Not really feeling safe for some of you guys you're just not feeling safe it's like you know deep inside you know that you're sick and tired of being sick and tired but just still feeling like you know you're at your crossroads okay let me have some messages here please so no contact spread all right, so your heart chakra is coming through, okay? So you let not your heart be troubled. Um, Angel is saying that it's okay to share love um, is what you need to know here. Um, I'm seeing a firm foundation, you guys. So it really tells me this is all you want right now. You just want to be able to, to be steady. Um, not only steady in love, but steady with your financial situation. Um, success. Um, and growth as well. You have your yin, your um, yin yang that's coming through. So I'm seeing spiritual awakening for sure. Confirmation, happiness, and with the universe that's coming through to assist you and to guide you. Um, a lot of growth here. I'm seeing you being inspirational, um, in joy and stability. Um, and you're just saying that you have to open up. Open up to the possibility that there's a situation that may be connected to you that feels at this point very having you feeling very helpless or having you very, feeling very hopeless. It's time to release negative energy and bondages here. Now, you're going to have to be patient with yourself. For some of you, you're really not patient with yourself and you keep 
returning to situation that doesn't necessarily means to return. Trying for success, fighting for what you want. But this man or this woman is holding on to your heart. Now, I'm seeing nature because that really tells me that it's time that you separate yourself into a place of peace. So that way you could manifest your life in joy. Um, that way you could be able to see things clearly with your third eye chakra, okay? And your solar plexus chakra, aim into that. Now, patience, opportunity, prosperity. Um, with your base chakra, say what you want. Do what you need. Movement and victory is coming in towards you. Memories of love, that's for sure. And strengthening bonds here. And again, that's really telling me about friendships here. It could be friendships. It could be family ships. It could be whatever. Um, woman holding your heart. Vice versa, man holding your heart. Someone is holding on to someone to move forward. Um, prosperity begins. So whatever, however, whatever is happening with your situation in financial, it, it there's a journey or some kind of a chapter that is presently starting in your life. There's something that is changing here, but you have to be reckoned to evaluate the truth and trust. Trusting in you that you can do all things here. Now I'm hearing, um, disruption here some of you feel very caged in or very trapped dealing with anxiety um missing opportunities here that's beckoning your calling um spiritual strength that's coming through here along with spiritual awakening um i'm hearing the light so there's definitely a movement here i'm seeing a door to success that's hoping you just have to reach out and touch because new beginnings is coming through a new chapter this is what you guys need with your crown chakra so your crown chakra did pull in the sun wow so i feel like you know whatever this is feels more like an ace of wands for some of you guys it's, you have to use your power you have to use your intelligence because you're very intelligent you're very smart um, you definitely is a go-getter and the sun and things is changing here. You're just manifesting your life from start to finish. You're not having no distractions, no more setbacks. You're allowing the angels to come in and to really guide you and to kind of show you signs physically, emotionally, financially, the steps that you need to take at this present moment for victory and success and the reaping everything that you're supposed to be given. I'm seeing you being very driven here. All right, tell me more. Tell me more, please. All right, so we also have the temple, the path. So that's the home that's coming through. All right, so I always say treat your home as if you treat the church, you guys. So your home needs cleansing. It needs attention. Um, as far as planning... You have to be patient in planning and not rush anything, okay? I'm seeing healing. So for some of you guys, now your life cycle is calling for massive, major healing. Um, healing from, you know, your heart being pulled out of your body. Healing from trusting a situation, giving into a situation. Um... I feel like for some of you guys, you need to know that there definitely is two doors here, okay? The left and the right. It's time that you take, choose a door, choose it wisely. Just know that you are not alone here. There's definitely a lot of distractions around you, that's for sure. So it's kind of hard for you to stay focused and remain focused to the possibility that is coming towards you. But the thing is, once you are able to manifest and be in focus here, I'm hearing the goddess and the moon, you guys. So everything will be coming clear. Whatever is in the dark is going to come out in the light. The rats will be exposed. Okay. No, no spell work or nothing like that. Anybody that tried anything on you, this is going to go right back to the sender. Just like it always has been. Okay. Somebody's going to be dealing with harsher corners here. Um, period. Change your focus, okay? Because... You know, for some of you, just feel like you've been alone on this journey, on this chapter. But you're going to have to be dedicated to effort. This is what I'm seeing you doing. Being very dedicated to effort and not be distracted anymore. Because I'm seeing love, the true love that's really trying to come towards you here. True love. 
prosperity and beliefs. Okay, tell me more. Heart chakra. So some of you are definitely giving your heart to someone who has torn it apart. This person was not gentle with your heart here. Maybe you need to go take your heart back. Yeah, use wisdom this time around. All right, that's what I'm seeing. You got to use wisdom, boo. Okay, be smart about it. The door to romance. The door to romance healing should be starting right now. As far as the door to romance is concerned, you're going to have to tap into healing. Heal that broken heart before you even make another attempt to give that broken heart already to any situation that's going to bring additional pain to that same damaged heart. That heart ain't got no time to heal because somebody's allowing themselves to be hurt with that same heart over and over and over and over again. Okay? You're making all the sacrifices to make sure that the heart stays broken. No, honey. Mm -mm. Enough is enough. I tell you. Enough is enough. Okay? Let's clarify these messages here. All right, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, please clarify these messages. Stop into the energy of Aries. This is a no contact. Let me have past, present, and future situations, okay? Then I will clarify each and every moment, each and every situation. Um, give some advice at the end. Okay. Use me as your vessel, Holy Spirit. And again, protect me from anything that may come through in this clarification that may hurt myself and my seekers. Send any bad intentions or any bad heal back to the sender. Okay, amen. So, in the back of the deck, what you didn't see, okay, is the Queen of Cups, all right, in the reverse. So, there's been a lot of setbacks here. There have been um, a lot of holdback. There's been a um, decision that needs to be made. There's been choices that need to be made, and yet someone has not made those choices, not yet made those, <coughs> or has <coughs> not made those decisions as yet. Um, I feel like there might have been some kind of expectation here. Someone was expecting change in love as far as who you wanted to love or love you back. Um, but there's definitely been some blockages here. All right, let's tap into your past, your present, your future. Um, we did have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. That came through. I clarified that and pulled some energy out of this and see why it decided to come through in the reverse. If I need to clarify anything further, I definitely pull some more cards for you guys, okay? All right, so in the recent past, we have Judgment here. We also have the Temperance. We have the Ace of Swords. All right, so you have definitely faced some critical situations here. I call them stumbling block in the past, all right? With judgment being here, um, you know, for some of you guys, you just wanted to cut and clear because, see, the communication in the recent past was not good. Separations was there. People not seen eye to eye. Um, you know, a lot of arguments and conflicts and situations that you were felt like you had to fight more than you ever fight. Trying to build something new with this person, trying to start or go around another route or take another route, um, and kind of trying to learn this person on another level so that you could work things out. Or for some of you, there was so much sacrifices here. You definitely try to have patience with this person. With the temperance being here, the judgment being here in the reverse, the temperance in the in the upright, and then you have the ace of swords also in the upright. So this is just a lot of misleading situations here where your patient was just not evaluated or respected in the past. Okay, 
Now, you do have the Four of Cups here. This represents your present. And you also have the Page of Pentacles. And you also have the Hermit here. Now, in the present, you're definitely trying to find some kind of a clarity as to what you had to deal with in your past. Um, but you're kind of over it. It's like you're having, you know, readings. You have reading back to back. You're going to that, that reader, that reader. And for some of you guys, you're, get, you're hearing what you're hearing. It's not resonate because it's not what you really want to hear. And you're still trying to find some kind of a clarity. You're doing your own research. You, you know, you're doing whatever you need to do. And you're still not getting anywhere. This is what I'm seeing you bumping into walls in the recent past. For some of you, you're just kind of sick and tired of being sick and tired. Because you're not getting the answers that you are searching for, right? Okay, um, I do see this person as maybe want to, in the in the present, this person may have wanted to try something, this person may have wanted to apologize, or this person might have made some kind of a gesture to start something new or to make you a promise to kind of give you something here. But again, I see you've been over it. It's like you, you, you don't want to take any more risks, any more chances anymore. You're still trying to find some kind of a clarity anyway, regardless. Now, what I do see coming in the future, what you did not see, okay? Now, we do have the Nine of Swords. You do have the Three of Swords, and you do have the Four of Swords in the reverse. You have a lot of swords here, okay? Let me explain. Now, the Nine of Swords just speaks about um, anxiety. It speaks about depression. It speaks about a loss. It speaks about your feeling, your inner feeling, what you're, what you, what, what is to come, right? And see, because of what you have dealt with here with your situation, and you did have a sword here as well in the past. Now you have three, okay, in the future, you guys. So it tells me that you really, really, really have to make some critical, serious decisions for yourself and make it stick. Put yourself first because you're dealing with a nine of swords. This is what you didn't see coming yet. The three of swords, it speaks about um hurt it speaks about pain it speaks about infidelity infidelity it speaks about third party situation that you didn't sign up for it speaks about um you know people who is closest to you that hurts you the most okay this is a lot of pain that you're going through the three of swords and the nine of swords this is what you didn't see coming and these are things that you could change in the future if you're smart about it. The four of swords in the reverse, you're resting, you're manifesting, you're praying, you're talking to your ancestors, you're really calling up. And I, when I say you're calling up, you're not only calling up, you're calling out for help from your higher ups. Because you're not alone in the situation and you have been guided. The temperance is here to remind you that you are not alone. You have never been alone. This is your past, you guys, the temperance, the judgment in the reverse, and the ace of swords, even though you had to put up a fight with whatever it is that you know was right for you, you continue to fight, but your fight was not one that you was doing by yourself. Even though you felt in the past that you was fighting a, a battle alone, you was never fighting a battle alone. You always had your ancestors there with you every step of the way, Okay. But you're just going to have to make something stick this time. You're going to have to set boundaries for everyone. And I'm not just saying in love. I mean everyone. Once you allow yourself to set these boundaries, things are going to be changing, okay? Tremendously in your life. Opportunities, love, everything. You would be respected the way that you should, okay? That's on period. Because you're not going to accept any more stupidity from anyone. Tapping into your energy and having a feeling like you're the problem. Now you have the Ten of Pentacles here. This did show in the reverse. This is what I need to clarify why it did show in the reverse. All right. The, the, the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel like whatever it is that you try to fix. And God knows you tried. Okay. You tried to fix everything here. Um, you tried to, to mend pieces you try to connect dots with family you try to connect dots with your friendships you try to connect dots with your person even though you knew that your person was being shady and moving sideways you were still trying okay nothing was resolved this is in the reverse okay everything came coming down like london london bridge did 
Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and clarify this ten of pentacles in the reverse. I feel like something was just taken away from you, or or somebody just shook the damn table and it kind of left you out in the freaking Alaska cold weather. Oh my goodness. Please clarify this 10 of Pentacles in the reverse. Please clarify the 10 of Pentacles in the reverse. Angels answers. Please clarify the 10 of Pentacles in the reverse, please. This is the, the no contact energy. All right, so to clarify that, we do have the six of wands in the reverse. Wow. Uh, what is the six of wands? In the reverse. All right, so the six of wands in the reverse is the two of cups energy. All right, so what is the two of cups and the six of wands to clarify the ten of pentacles in the reverse? So we have the ace of pentacles. So, all right, so there's definitely major blockage in your zone here. Listen to this. So this two of cups came through, right? It already tells me that you are definitely um, dealing with someone that's really tapping into you all the way in. It, 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 it seems like a twin flame person. It feels like a soulmate person, marriage or whatever, baby mama, baby daddy, whatever. But this is the problem, though. You have so many blockages with this twin flame situation. It's crazy. Okay? There's a lot of blockages here. People just not want to make decisions to make you happy or whatever. Why? Because you have this Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Confirms major blockages. Confirms situation not heading towards you the way that you want it to head towards you. With clarity, with peace, with abundance, with financial success and gains and love and everything else that comes with the Ace of Pentacles. This is in the reverse. And so is the Six of Wands. There's no victory. There's no happiness that's coming in right here. Okay, this could be yours, this could be theirs, but however the story goes, it falls off your shoulder, it drops on theirs, or it falls off of theirs and it drops on theirs, as long as you're entwining your energy with theirs, it's yours. Now, again, you have the two of wands in the reverse, and you have the strength in the reverse, see what I'm saying, you guys? And then you have the eight of wands in the reverse, it's like all of these is in the reverse, I'm telling you, man, this is crazy. The eight of wands in the reverse, the strength in the reverse, and the two of wands in the reverse. So there's a lot of fear and moving on here. Your strength is, is, is like going down all the way down here, but someone is still kind of hoping that somebody might change their mind. This, this, this person is not ready. This person is not budging. Somebody is not budging. Somebody is stubborn as hell and not budging. They're dealing with manipulation and mind games here. The seven of pentacles. It's, it's all about planting these seeds here. The seeds has to be planted, but you have a page of swords in the reverse. Okay? And the nine of pentacles here. So this person is really playing mind games here. The five of swords as well. Let's, let me, let, let's clarify this. What is the ace of uh, pentacles in the reverse? The six of wands and the two of cups. What is this? Six of Wands in the reverse. The Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. And the Two of Cups in, in the upright. All right. So that is the Five of Pentacles. Okay. What I tell you? What I tell you? Okay. And then you have the Ten of Swords here. Okay. <laughs> This is a five of pentacles. Now we're clarifying why the ace of pentacles showed in the reverse. Okay. This is blockages. We're clarifying why the six of wands is in the reverse. That is major setbacks. No movement, no happiness, no justice, no nothing. The two of cups is here. However, it's connected to all of this. So there's no movement with this person, with this twin flame person. What I do see coming is loss. Past, present, or future loss, takedown, setbacks, financial hardship, or whatever is going on. Cycle has to end. Something should end. Something needs to be over. The Ten of Swords, 
in the reverse. It's a wrap. We need to let this go. Her honey, we're going to have a problem. We're going to have a problem. The magician, the devil. The magician and the devil and the five of swords. Look at this. See what I'm saying? Let me explain this. Let's explain, okay? You have this magician in the reverse and then you have the devil in the, in the reverse. And you also have the five of swords. So this really speaks about, you know, lies and material and mass that's been born in a community of people that know what the hell's going on and they just sit down looking all stupid or whatever. Okay, and know your pain or whatever you're going through. This could be friends of your person or even friends of your family of you or whatever, but you have no support here. Okay, there's a lot of lies here. Two faced people in this card. Um, you know, a lot of spell work going on here. For some of you, you know about the spell work. You've been trying to protect yourself, but somebody's in on it. Jack of all trades, the devil in the reverse. Okay, you're either going to walk away from this or you're not. Because this is connected to toxicity. It's connected to people who's on drugs. It's connected to black magic, blue magic, dark magic. It's connected to um, people who are connected to third party karmic situation. People who should be paid dealing with karma and connected to this devil here. It doesn't matter if it's in the reverse or not. For me, it don't even matter. It is what it is. It's the same damn thing. I don't care. When I get this card, I read it the same damn way. Because at the end of the day, it's all karma. That's all I see. So it is, so it's done. Okay? All right, you guys. Um, So we are done with your mega. We are one hour and 16 or 17 minutes in, I think. You guys think I should pull you some more cards? Aries? What do you guys think? You think I should pull you some more cards? Let me go ahead and pull you guys some more cards, but I'm not going to use the tarot, though. I'm not going to use the tarot. I'm going to use this one here. I'm going to use my write-up cards and pull you some messages out of here. And then I think I will pull two cards from here. Just to clarify whatever I pull through here. Let me pull some cards for you guys out of this. I think we want to make it... Uh, an hour 20 minutes, right? <laughs> All right, let's see. All right, so Angel is saying that they lost their blessing, okay? Somebody lost their blessing when they mess with you. They won't realize your worth, all right? Um, they can't sleep at night. This person, they can't sleep at night, okay? Because they know what they did and they're getting karma. Get ready to make some serious money. So things are changing for you. I feel like you shouldn't worry about a damn thing because uh, your intentions towards everyone is crystal clear. You see what I'm saying? Your intentions, Aries, towards everyone is crystal, crystal clear. You have no bad intentions or nothing. The sun will shine again, all right? So whatever this person thought that they could have, you know, messed you up from the floor up or whatever, that is changing, okay? Um, this person did get a reading on you, but the reading was interrupted. This is what I'm hearing. It kind of didn't. It was just like this person might have wasted their money. You have to create your future right at this per particular moment. It's time that you create your future that you should know that everything comes back at the aider. You shouldn't even worry about what people think. Just, just love on yourself. Just love you, okay? Get on that love, self-love type of a thing. You know, it don't matter what they think. They can't stop you. I'm going crazy without, see, this person's going crazy at this point. They're going crazy without you. What goes around comes around. Okay, I feel like this person know that they betrayed you. I'm hearing the mental abuse was worse than the physical one. This person might have even put their paws on you. Now they were in regrets. You were their best, and they just couldn't handle it. That's all there is to it. You was the best thing that ever happened to this person. Now they're losing. <laughs> now they are losing. Be the loser. Dealing with people that doing all kinds of shit. Living all kind of weird old lifestyle. Okay? And that lifestyle that they're living is not something that you need to be a part of. Because justice, honey, is on the way. I'm telling you. Justice is on the way. Just like AAA is on the way. All right, let's see. 
care of these um, cards that I just pulled. Angels, answers to spirit guides. Please care of these cards that I just pulled. This is Aries. This is a no contact energy. Please clarify these cards that I just pulled through. Please clarify these messages that I just pulled through. Alright, so we have the King of Cups energy. Okay. I'm sorry, the, the King of Wands. This is the King of Wands. The King of Wands in the upright. What is the King of Wands in the upright? All right, so we also have the King of Cups. Are you kidding me? Wow. All right, can't find these two energy. Look about you guys. <laughs> Yo, you have the King of Wands, you have the King of Cups, and you have the King of Pentacles, okay? All right, can't find these three energies. Let's, let me know why they come into us so dominant here. Why is they coming to so dominant? Okay. So the reason why they're coming to so dominant is because you have a five of cups energy here. Okay. Now, the king of wands, I do feel um, someone being very stubborn here. Okay. Um, I feel like this person, though, is just a natural born leader. But sometimes they take their leadership role to another damn level here. Um, I do feel like, you know, this person does have a vision. But sometimes this vision gets uh, confused as far as dealing with so many on and off situations here. Um, Scorpio, Pisces, Virgo energy. Wow. I feel like this person is very controlling, you guys. Emotionally controlling. Um, trying to find some kind of a balance here. I see this person as being generous, though. They're not really stingy, but they're kind of weird sometimes. Um, and with so much strong dominant energy, it's like hard for you to kind of really set boundaries with this person because this person comes through as, as hardcore. Um, this person wants to take control and they want to take power and they want to, yes, they want to have an abundance here and they want to be disciplined. But dealing with a person, dealing with one person who comes through with a, with a, with a king of wands energy and a king of cups energy and a king of pentacles energy, King of Pentacles are people who are, um, you know, very money driven. They will choose money over love at any given day, okay? Um, there's a whole lot of clarity that this person is trying to find. They is like they want to make sure that whoever they be with is who they choose to be with when they say jump is jump or high or whatever. This person sits on their throne and they stay sitting on their damn throne, okay? Um, but I feel like at the end of the day, though, there's a lot of regrets here, though, is what I'm seeing with the five of cups. Um, I do feel like even though this person comes off so strong and so hardcore, I feel like there's a lot of despair with this person as well. Um, I feel like there's a lot of disappointment because the five of cups is here. The five of cups represents all these three energy in one person. All right. Clarify the five of cups, please. What is the Five of Cups? All right, so the Five of Cups is the Six of Pentacles in the reverse, okay? Just know this, all right? Because I'm going to end your read here. Um, this person has to be really, really careful with the things that they do and the choices that they make at this present moment because they could come off as being very selfish, Okay. Um, and it could come off as being one-sided simply because they're so dominant. Um, and it seems like they sometimes get they hard to deal with because they just want to be the boss of every damn thing. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. If you, you know, you want to be in a relationship with someone, you have to be able to, to kind of let your guards down and allow that person to have a say so, allow that person to have their own opinion, um, and allow yourself to listen. Okay. Being, a king of wands and, and, and being a king of pentacles and the king of cups, it's hard to, like, again, it's hard to deal with anyone that wants to have the authority in every aspect of the relationship or the situation. There's always going to be bumping of heads. There's always going to be situations where you're not seen eye to eye. There's always going to see, be situations where that person wants to just go out and come as they please. For some of you, this person may be financially stable so you know you may be the one that kind of have to ask that person for money and all that stuff 
or just for financial help. And because they know that they are the one above your criteria, they come up as being very, very hardcore. And it could damage you mentally and emotionally. For some of you, financially, okay? Because if the person walks away, then you're going to be financially broke. Okay? Make sure that you have your own money, honey. It don't matter how much money you got. Just make sure you got your own shit. Okay? That no way nobody can disrespect you and, and telling you how high to jump and all that other shit. Stupid ass. Okay? All right. So this is going to be your read. I am going to go to sleep is what I'm going to do. I'm not even going to upload this read until tomorrow. Right now. Um, I believe, what time is it, you know, guys? It's 12.30 a.m. 12.30 a.m. right now. You can't see. Let's see. Here you go. It's 12.30 a.m. Thursday, 12.30 a.m. So, we're not going to upload this read tonight because I'm pretty sure that you guys may be asleep and you guys may not know when I upload, when I drop, because I want to make sure when I drop, you drop, Okay. So we're going to put this out in the morning. I'm going to set this to come out in the morning. So I'll probably do like, i say like 10 a.m. We do 10 a.m. You'll see this read at 10 a.m. in the morning. Um, I'm definitely going to put a, a Capricorn first. And then you'll get the Aries after. I have a lot of reads to give out to you guys tomorrow. But you guys, this is going to be the end of the read. I love you guys to the moon and stars. If you guys are not subscribed to my home decor channel, please go over and subscribe. It's called Life is Juliana. I want you guys to get to know me more. Um, You know, share my home with you guys. Just sit down and chat and um, do all kinds of shit on there, okay? Um, I just don't want you guys to just think that I'm just your tarot reader. I want you guys to be a part of me as much as I'm a part of you. Um, so that, with that way, you'll feel more comfortable with me over here, right? And then also you could go over and subscribe to my cooking channel because, well, guys, when I'm not when I'm not doing all of this, you guys, I do things to make me happy. I love to decorate my home and I love to... Um, to cook. I'm a Jamaican. I am a Jamaican, so I love to cook. So I do have a cooking channel here on YouTube. I think I told you guys already. It's called How to Cook Channel. Um, so go over and subscribe. I'm going to put a video link in the description. I'll probably put it in the comment section as well. So you guys, all you have to do is click on it. Go over and subscribe to that channel my home decor channel, and my cooking channel, and say hello, you guys, okay? Just say hello. Um, yeah, um, somebody asked me about TikTok. I have a TikTok, but I'm not really on TikTok a lot um, because I really don't like TikTok too much, but I do have a TikTok. But go ahead and subscribe, you guys, to my home decor channel, Life is Juliana, and also my cooking channel, How to Cook Channel. And just become a part of the family as well, okay? Don't forget to join, okay? Because I want to start to go live once again. Um, and I'm only going live for channel members. And, um, yeah, so go ahead and do that um, for sure. And, yeah, let's keep the, the love alive, all right, guys? I love you guys to the moon and stars. If you do need to have a prayer request, go ahead and ask for a prayer request. I'd be more than happy to send out a spiritual prayer for you guys um all i ask for you is to pray for me as i'm also praying for you and y'all please do not um forget to thumbs up your reads because when you guys do not thumbs up your reads your reads just go flat okay especially this one this one i have not done an hour and almost 30 minutes read for you guys in a long 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 time okay so y'all let me see how much you love me in this read okay also you guys if you might not have noticed we are almost had 30,000 um seekers uh we just have just a little bit more to go to get to 30,000 and I cannot wait to see that 30 because you trust me 
it's a lot of work and I'm doing it. We almost at the 30. So go ahead and thumbs up the read so we could get to this 30,000. Okay. I love you guys to the moon and stars. Um, I will definitely be talking to you guys tomorrow. Um, and again, if you do need to have a prayer request, please let me know that you need one. All you have to do is this. It's very simple. Just go ahead and put your initials, your initials in the comment section of this video. Or even if you don't want to do that, just put divine intervention in the, in the comment section. But I really prefer if you also put your initials. Now you can always ask for a prayer request for a family member, for your friends, for your person, whether it's a past person or future person or whatever. Just go ahead and do that um, and get the prayer out. Pray for me also, you guys, as I'm praying for you. And with that said, always remember to seek first and you always find. Bye, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow.